Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax. I am back today with more base set arrivals. I'm doing really well on this collection so far. Um, this time of year in particular, actually, I'm doing really, really well. Uh, I've got plenty of cards to go over. Um, I'm just going to kind of sort through them one by one here. We'll start off with the first one I got. I actually bought this one a while ago. This was during the summer, actually. I bought it privately. This is a Clefairy Doll, the trainer. Show you there. And for whatever reason, this card has always just eluded me. I'd see it at auction, and I wouldn't uh, bid on it, or i forget about the auction, or something would happen where I wasn't able to bid on it for whatever reason. And the card, I, I've consistently lost it like three or four times, so I finally just outright bought the thing um, for a fair price at the time, so I'm more than uh, content to finally have it. Really like the artwork on it, that computer-generated look, like how Clefairy doll looks. Uh, sitting in the middle of that really colorful background. So glad I finally owned this. And then the rest of the cards I got, I actually got it from a uh, one particular guy who was just, he, he had like a bulk auction going on. He had several cards listed and he had several I needed. And they all went for about half of what they normally do, which is awesome. Uh, as we've entered that time of year where uh, you don't tend to sell real high. So we'll start off with Gust of Wind which went plenty cheap. It's a card I've desperately needed for a while. I'm finally picking up on a lot of the trainer cards uh, now, that I, now that I think about it, because the trainer cards are rather elusive. They didn't show up a lot at auction this year, um, which kind of surprised me, to be honest. Because if I look at the pop reports on PSA's website, they should be about as common as some of the uh, regular and uh, standard cards that they have. So kind of odd you just didn't see him that much this year. Poliwag, another card that's eluded me a couple of times. I bought this one way cheap as well. Poliwag, for whatever reason, has sold very cheaply in the past, um, even at auction, even at, at their um, peak. It didn't sell for all that much. I think it topped out around 45 bucks. So Poliwag is a great card to add here as well. I'm glad to have him. Uh, this next card I could not find for the life of me. It was always expensive every time I looked for it, and it did not show up that much. It's finally started to show up in recent months, but I finally own Jinx. There's the label. Don't know why it was so hard to come across. I know with uh, certain cards, they, they just don't show up for the longest time. Jinx was definitely one of those. I couldn't find it for months on end, and it was a card I really wanted to uh, add to the collection. So happy I finally have Jinx here. Like I mentioned before, uh, finally getting some of the trainers. The trainers are showing up on the market again. We've got Potion. Nothing too special about it. It does have that artwork I like, but it doesn't stand out too much. Uh, another card that's eluded me quite a bit in the past, Kadabra. Very difficult to find, and this one actually went for a little over what I expected it would go for. But I'm happy I have it nonetheless. I'm finally happy I do own the Kadabra from this set. There you guys go. And last card. This is another card that tends not to sell real, real well. Um, Tangela. Let my camera focus there. There we go. Yeah, for whatever reason, this card doesn't tend to sell real well either. I saw it listed several times for like $50 over and over and over and nobody bought it. And then finally... Um, they started off with a couple 99 cent auctions and uh, it sold well under that so finally happy I um, own it now got a chance to bid on it and uh, it's gonna look great when it's uh, added to my collection here so very excited about that that basically does it I picked up I think that's seven total one two three four five six seven yep so seven more cards to add to the collection I'm over halfway done with it I'm actually approaching two-thirds the way done with this particular collection. The big thing I need to get now, the real um, drain at this point, is uh, the hollows. And I'm actually looking at several that are listed on eBay. Um, and I'm going to be contacting a lot of people privately, see if they can't cut me a deal here, because that's what I'm looking for at this point in time. So, wish me luck there, guys. I'm really hoping to knock in a few hollows um, to help me complete this set, as now is a really good time to buy. So, yeah, that's basically where I'm at. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll have a new upload again soon.